welcome to the foil jibe video. <laughs> There are two ways of foil jibing. In general, you have to decide if you're learning the foil jibe or if you already know how to foil jibe and you want to advance your jibe and create more speed. For learning a beginner foil jibe, there is a very different technique to what you do when you're performance jibing. It is more important for a guy that learns how to foil that he flies through his jibes instead of pushing for the last bit of speed on jibe exit. So first, we'll go through the beginner foil jibe. First thing you want to do is you want to bear off before you initiate the jibe. So go on a downwind course. The less you have to turn into the jibe, the easier it is. So we'll aim for entering on downwind and exiting the jibe on downwind. That way it's also easier to keep the momentum in the board and get your first flying jibes. So what you do is you're on downwind and you initiate the jibe. You have to take care that you put your body and your weight to the front. Really go forward more than you think when you're trying to foil jibe. Another thing I always see with the guys I'm on the water and I try to teach them foiling is they close the sail too much. So open the sail. The only thing you have to think of is be forward and open the sail early. In foil jibing, you have to do everything a touch earlier than what you normally think when you're a windsurfer. You enter the jibe, you lean forward, you open the sail, and do your curve, then you switch your feet and you can make that just stepping with the front foot in front of the front foot strap and with the back foot in the back in the middle and just try to fly the board. Always concentrate on the board. Don't lose so much thought into the sail. It's really important that you don't switch your feet while the board is still turning in that way. So in the middle of the jibe, try to level out the board a little bit, switch your stance, and then drive through the jibe and finish your jibe by switching the sail. But always think of board control. Always think in the board, not in the sail. So when you're foil jibing, it is important that you go through a routine with your hands and your feet. Don't start shoveling along the boom or shoveling over the board with your feet. Be clear and precise in the movements you do. Slide to the front of the boom, release the backhand, do a crossover, push the mass into the front and pull the hand in the back. Always in foil jibing for beginners, keep your weight on top of your board. And do not stress. The board has enough momentum. Don't move too fast. Take your time. But just do it early. Do everything a bit earlier. And uh, the feet, the positioning of the feet must be really clear and easy. Don't make steps that you don't need. So step on the other side, do your curve, step with the front foot, out of the front foot strap, put it to the back and at the same time put the front foot to the front. Don't jump, just be light and nimble on your feet. So now let's talk about the advanced or the performance jibe. First thing you need to do when performance jibing is you have to put more effort in. It's not about leveling the board out, going easy, taking your time. It's about putting as much effort into the jibe as you can because that way you'll get the most speed out on the other side. So what you do is you enter the jibe with the maximum speed you can achieve. Don't slow down before the jibe. Just sheet the sail in and lean towards the inside of the jibe to initiate the, the turn. And what you do is you close your sail, get your sail to the back and your body to the front at the same moment. Because if you don't put your body to the front, stuff like that happens. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So once you have your sail in the back, your body to the front, that's the entering phase of the maneuver. So you go in, it is essential in that moment that you lean into the jibe so you can carve hard. Don't underestimate your foil, it can really go around the corner. But you have to anticipate the forces that will work on your body. And another uh, point I want to tell you is, use your back foot as far as possible on the other side of the board. That way, it will be easy to control the lateral movement of the jibe and really drive the board through the jibe. Okay, so once you come to a certain point on your jibe, you shouldn't be too late with opening your sail. So this initial closing of the sail, pulling it back, is just to initiate the turn. Afterwards, straight, I have to put a constant amount of pressure to the backhand to really force the sail in the way I want it and to then let it go. But before 
you switch the sail, you have to switch your feet. That is essential. Like in the beginner jibe, be really clear with the movement you do with your feet and with your hands. So you open the sail. The moment you open the sail, you switch your feet. You definitely go from the front foot strap to the front foot strap on your new forward leg on the new side. So you go strap to strap, absolutely. Once you're in the new position, you can let go of the sail and rotate the sail to get to the new course. Even though you're rotating the sail and you're doing all this with your feet, still keep the weight of your body inside the curve to keep the board going and to keep the curve going. So that way, the more you lean into the jibe and the more power you put into it by leaning in, the more speed you will get out of the jibe on the other side. So performance jibing, especially in stronger winds, is all about getting the rhythm right and anticipating what will happen next and being ready for it. And on top of that, you have to dictate precise and powerful movements. That way, you'll be able to do a perfect jibe.